Hello guys, welcome to the Innovation Lab. I just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys the uh, testing of the 1000 watt DC generator that we just installed on our e-bike load simulator setup. As some of us might have seen in the previous video, I used a 350 watt 24 volt DC generator to do the uh, initial uh, set of testing that I did on this setup. So, and to be able to apply more load to the uh, e-bike electric motor that we are testing, I needed to uh, install a bigger generator that will allow us to at least load test this e-bike electric motor to about a thousand watts of load. All right, so let's go ahead and look at what we have here and uh, we take it for a spin to see if it's going to give us a thousand watts. All right, and if you're new to our channel, what we're doing here is actually very simple. We needed to find an innovative and affordable way of performing a load test on our e-bike electric motor to know exactly how much power it is going to put out or what the drive capacity of our e-bike electric motor could be. And to be able to do that, we had an idea of using that e-bike electric motor to drive a vehicle alternator, but uh, we couldn't fix the alternator that I wanted to use. So now we had another idea of using it to try driving a permanent magnet DC electric motor, which we are referring to here as our DC generator. Also, part of what we're hoping to achieve in a future video, which is going to be coming out in a few days, is to see if we can use this DC to DC boost converter uh, using different voltage levels, uh, boosted up to 48 volt to drive our e-bike electric motor very efficiently. So looking at what we have here for this initial testing, uh, we're not going to be using the boost converter yet, So, but we're going to be driving it fully at 48 volts. So what we have here is a system of uh, 48 volt lithium phosphate battery packs. So we have 12 volts and 12 volts, and this is a 24 volt pack. And these are high energy density battery packs. So they should be able to provide the amount of current we need to drive this system. And here we have our input power monitor and here we have our output power monitor to show us how much power that our DC generator is going to be supplying to our load. For our load, we're going to be using this 1000 watt 48 volt heater that we showed in a previous video. So this allows us to actually apply up to a thousand watts of load to our DC generator and on this setup as a whole. All right, let's go ahead and take it for a spin and see how this uh, DC generator is going to perform. guys I have to keep to my promise to make this uh, really short video and uh, we just wanted to uh, show you guys initial testing of this 1000 watt DC generator to know if it is actually gonna give us a thousand watt output at 48 volts and as we've seen in the video the generator was able to provide about 920 watts to our load at 48 volts drawing about 1400 watts of input power coming in from the batteries and I know that a lot of people have asked about the possibility of using something like this for wind energy as a generator so what we've shown in this video is that it is possible for you to uh, experiment on it the concept might work for you all right my friends if you like to see the testing of the system 
using the DC to DC boost converter. Um, we're gonna be using 12 volts, 24 volts and 36 volts boosted up to 48 volts to drive the system. If you like to see that video, don't forget to subscribe to the Innovation Lab. All right, my friends, I will see you guys in the next video.